Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Eagles open the lead up to 34 0. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that makes this 35 0 now. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. On second down, Cousins again. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Off the play fake, Cousins. That's caught downfield by Addison. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pickup there, 26 yards. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football, but right now they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship, and the Eagles are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that will lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. This is caught. It's Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. They're going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. Here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Albert O. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles are on their way to a 2-0 start. Elliott good on the extra point, and it is 42 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. And they're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the first game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it'll still a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Gun. And the tight end goes in motion left. Gun. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Gun. In motion goes the tight end. Wide, wide. Wait, now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A big play there for Minnesota. 48 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. And they're going to speed things up here. And the Vikings first down. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Oftentimes, we praise an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And Hawkinson going to have the Vikings first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Now Cousins going to change it up. Hey, Steamer, Steamer. Wait, that? First down, a run with Cohen. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles kick over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but... They've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL. I think they partnered because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Side. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A little over 20 yards there, and in two plays, they've now moved the ball over 60 yards. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This will be caught once again by Brown. 
And the Eagles are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, partner, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. down but it winds up incomplete well they're up comfortably here charles but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late i mean if anything with these passes it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield and that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach and they are going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. And it's no good. Oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. But first down, Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it in for the score in the game's final play, so it doesn't affect. 